Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Caitlin and this is a quick and easy piece to celebrate the start of autumn. I've been trying to play around with doing these kinds of pieces that are more like warm-ups or practice sketches instead of feeling like I need to do fully finished pieces every time I sit down. Starting with the really general idea of autumn instead of a more specific scene, uh, that just sort of let me take a step back and just make a list of a few things that capture the essence of autumn. Leaves and pumpkins are the biggest things for me, so those were a must. The scents of autumn, like cinnamon, pumpkin spice, apples, anything warm and cozy, those are also high up on my list of what makes autumn so festive. Although, ironically, I never scent my home because those are really strong, heavy scents that just make me sick if they're around for longer than a quick sniff of candles in the store. Where I live, it's still pretty warm outside, but I can't wait until it starts to get just cool enough for sweaters and scarves and hats. Once it gets too cold, I'm not a fan, but sweater weather is quite nice. Autumn has always been my favorite season, which I think is pretty common. It's such a colorful season, and it's the start of all the holidays. The end of the year with the embers and obers, and it feels magical, somehow. When I was a kid, it felt so much more mystical, and it signaled the start of a fantastic holiday season. Now, as an adult, I'm sad to admit that winter is always a really hard time for me, and holidays have just become a thing of stress. So autumn is starting to lose some of its magnificence. I'm hoping that this year I can start to turn things around and make the most of those dark, cold times, bringing warmth and light into my home wherever I can. For the process of this piece, I worked somewhat differently than how I normally work. You can actually see me sketching the individual pieces and carrying that through the entire process, which took less than an hour. The biggest difference for this versus my usual way of working is that I added line work and offset it a bit, as I quite like that effect. I also am not the biggest fan of doing line work anyway, so knowing I was going to offset it allowed me to be a little less precise with the lines, a little less picky about using line weights, and just getting that character from the displacement. Line work is something I've never particularly enjoyed doing, nor do I really like it in other art. It's never a factor that I look at and revel in. I never see a piece and go, dang, look at that line work, that's some juicy stuff. For me, it's always lighting, and line work and lighting are usually not the best of friends. When I think of line work, I think of the kinds of art that don't get the most time for adding luscious shading, so animation, comics, things like that. They usually have cell shading most of the time, but that's not what does it for me. You can see on this piece that I couldn't resist at least adding a little bit of a gradient to things here, but it's not dramatic lighting by any stretch of the imagination. I chose to forego that since I wanted this to be a practice piece, not a full piece, and I need to stop trying to finish everything out with lighting. Things can be flat. That's okay. It still looked a little sparse to me, so I played around with some background doodles as a false kind of pattern in the back just to add texture. Mostly leaves, some stars and hearts, I think I threw a cat in there as well. Now the background color I kind of struggled with. Nothing was looking quite right. I ended up just giving it a neutral tannish background in the end, but you'll see a vibrant orange one here first. I wanted it to pop when scrolling through Instagram, but the orange on orange was just a bit too much, and purple didn't look quite right either. Overall, this piece was helpful to let me exercise my art muscles for an hour. It was a fun practice piece, and it made me want to do more things like this in the future. It's just hard when so many ideas for full pieces float through your head, and you want to dedicate all your time to those instead of quick things that just let you get your ideas out. But 
I gotta get better at that. That just about does it for this one. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!